Hey there, uh, it's Friday morning. I'm about to get on the road to go collect food scraps in Bangor and I've got to build a paddock for the, the cows uh, and uh, I put up most of the posts as you can see right here. All the posts I put up back in Oh, it's probably the beginning of January when we got the new cows. Uh, this is the last row of hay in this section of the field. Uh, and I ran out of posts, and so I just want to show you this real quick. I uh, had to put this quarter in, and the snow is like two feet deep, a mix of uh, crusty snow and powder and um, as you can see here I just got this down right down to the ground I don't know if I can get down there or not uh, I'm not sure if you can even see it but trust me I got this post into the soil and it was not frozen and it went in easy with the step in posts and then to make this a rigid corner I put two posts on angles to it. When I pull on this with the poly braid, uh, it should not flex or, and hopefully it doesn't pull out. Uh, yeah, I just wanna take a minute and show you that little trick to uh, keep your post, your corner post straight up, uh, especially in the in uh, snowy frozen winter conditions. I just wanted to show you what that corner looked like after I got the poly braid up. Uh, so those diagonals are keeping that post pretty straight. And Jason feels really rigid. It's hardly flexing at all. So, uh, great. And again, these are the I don't know if I said it before, these are the tread line posts from O'Brien. Uh, this is, we will have had them for a year uh, later this month. Uh, we used them all last season, like them a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, the O'Brien tread line post. And this is how I built corners tough situations. Okay, I got the perimeter of the next paddock set up with the new corner and I got this, been, been able to get by with a single strand. A low single strand is keeping the cows back and the, the two rams that are with them and the uh, dog. Uh, are being a single low single strand it's geez it's about the height of my lacrosse boots uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'm standing on top of snow and the cows sink in some uh, uh, so that perimeter is done there all the way up and this is another section with six bales and each bale is lasting between a day and a half and two days, depending on the weather and the condition of the bale. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna open up this bale of hay, brush the snow off, flip it up, uh, like you've seen in past videos, unwrap it, and uh, then put the bale ring around it and open, uh, move this poly braid over to about where that mini reel is and uh, right past right in front of the dog's nose um, and she's sitting there patiently sunbathing being a good dog these cows are waiting for their next bale of hay brownies inside getting milked uh, yeah all right here we go Okay, I got 
the fence moved and the bale opened. It was frozen down to the ground. I had to cut the wrap and peel the, as much of the wrap out of the ice as I could. Uh, cows are happy. I am, let's see, let's turn this around. I, I'm working on getting these three fence posts out of the snow and I had to dig chisel down through like four inches of ice to get this out and I was able to pop it out I've got to do that two more times and then set up uh, some, some poly braid between here and there and then we're set for a little while. All right, we'll have a good day. Take care. Bye.